And a will you cat's uh, prophecy begin uh, tier list. So I'm going to just do that. So first we have uh, Firestar. We gotta put Firestar in A. I mean, he's very... Well, he'll go in B. Uh, so this is like, sucks. Uh, or hate them. There's a, I don't know them. But that's, there's hate them. They, uh, don't like them. Oh, uh, no, this is gonna be, I hope they die. <laughs> this will be, hate them. This will be, I don't like them. This will be, they're okay. This will be amazing. And this will be, they're really good. So, uh, that could be love them. So, he's okay. I mean, he's a really good, uh, well, we're rating him in the first series. So that I would be, uh, he's good. Like, he's a good character. I like him. Um, uh, I... I hear lots of people that are like, oh, I don't like him, I don't like him. He's just like, I don't get how you cannot like him. He's so nostalgic, and like, he has a really good character, I mean, in the first series. Uh, in the other ones, in the other series, I mean, he, it sucks that he was, that he's like in other prophecies that he shouldn't be in, because he's already been in one, but like, he's not a bad character, so he'll go in there. Grey Stripe, he's okay. Um, he's not my favorite. Uh, but, so, I just don't like, he makes no sense. He refused to, like, fight, uh, fire star heart in, uh, when he was in River Clan. Uh, and then he fought him when he was in Thunder Clan. Make up your mind, dude. Make up your mind. He's okay. Uh, Sandstorm. I don't like her. Man, like, she... She's so in love with him. Well, first, she hated him. And she's so in love with him. And then, like, as soon as he done... He does one single thing wrong, like, not give him an apprentice... Not give her an apprentice. Oh, I hate him. Not gonna talk to him. I don't like you. Um, Cinderpout, I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> um, I just think she's a good cat. Uh, I like the fact that she was, like, so eager to, like, go Thunderpath and, like, see what Tiger Star needed that she ended up hurting herself, but then she found a way to, like, make it happen. Like, to make herself happy. To still make herself happy, which was be a medicine cat. I think that's awesome. <laughs> and she's just a happy little character. I like her. Okay, next, Blue Star. You're going in the dislike. I just... Eh. Um, <laughs> she, like, the fact that she thought everyone was a traitor, even home deputy... I mean, like, she was going insane, but she was still a jerk, kind of. And I feel like she was still a slight jerk before that, too. Like, I don't like her. <laughs> She's probably one of my least favorite leaders. My favorite being Tallstar. He's awesome. Not in the whole series, but, like, in the first... Uh, not in the whole series, but in the first arc. I just think he's awesome. <laughs> he's an old man. And he reminds me of my cat. That might be part of it. Next is Spotted Leaf. Eh. I mean, she wasn't there for that long. And, like, I mean, she's sweet and stuff. And she's nice. But she just wasn't there for that long. And I feel like if she would have been there for longer, she would have been a better character. And I haven't read her book. Um, uh, and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. Because I'm just planning on getting through the whole series. And then getting on to the super editions and novellas and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> Yellow Fang! She's awesome. Wait, where did I put her? No! You don't deserve to go there, sweetie! Sorry. <laughs> I love her. She's awesome. She's grumpy. She's amazing. And she's just great. He's okay. 
I mean, like, he is an okay villain. I mean, he's actually a really good villain. Um, him being, like, him hating, not hating, but, like, disliking his clan the whole time, and then, like, backstabbing him, uh, <laughs> is just, yeah. Uh, one second, I gotta take a call, so, it's just, like, I like him as a villain, uh, like, the fact that, like, he was, like, a backstabber and, like, which we've known from the first book, I think it was. Um, but the fact that he got a cat to, and there's gonna be spoilers in this video, <laughs> should have said that at the beginning, but the fact that he got a cat to, like, that he tried to kill before, which I don't know if he realized it was tiny, because in the, uh, in The Rise of Scourge, he, a Scourge, I think it's Scourge, I don't know, um, <clears throat> he, like, didn't realize he, his comment about his size and appearance was like, wow, you're small, like, the size of an apprentice, or something like that. So I don't think he realized it was the cat that he picked on, and the fact that the cat backstabbed him, <clears throat> and the fact that he had to relive his life, like, his death nine times i think is really cool great way to end a villain uh in my opinion unless you do it tons of times but uh i'll move him up here <clears throat> but as a character himself he isn't like that likable really uh so yeah i'll just put him up there we got our boy oh, i love him i love the fact <laughs> that He's just a little skittish man. And the fact that the skittish one was the one that uh, was that witnessed a murder, I just think is really cool. Uh, and he, and I have read his novella. That was the second book I read when I started. And I did get, because I love him, uh, I did get Ravenpaw's Path. Um, so I did end up reading that. Uh, the first book I ever read was The Rise of Scourge, uh, and then the second one was, uh, his, no, the second one was Into the Wild, and then, uh, I saw, and then I got his novella, so, cause I really liked him, so I started reading that, um, and then I, uh, read his manga, and so I've read pretty much all the books, from his point of view, um, and I do have, uh, Yellow Things Super Edition, because I love her, but I haven't read that yet, so, I don't know, maybe that'll change my perspective on Yellow Fang, but as I said, uh, just in the, uh, the first series, so that means, like, no novellas and stuff, or the mangas, I just like him in the first series, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Scourge. He's there. I mean, like, he appeared as a villain just for a few chapters. And, like, he was a hard-to-defeat villain. He killed Firestar once. But other than that, I mean, like, yeah. A lot of what got me to semi-like him was in his... Uh, manga, and that might have been because <laughs> that's the first Warriors book I read, but I just really liked him because of his manga. I liked his backstory and stuff like that, and I feel like if he were, I, I put a poll up yesterday, I don't know if anyone voted on it yet, about what AU I should do speed paint, and one of my AUs is him getting adopted, so he was on the streets this one. He was, yeah, he was on the streets, and this was, uh, like, right after he fought that dog, well, really didn't fight him, but had his shadow scare away the dog, and so a person picked him up and found him and took care of him, uh, and he was, that's my adopted AU, and then, <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, <laughs> um, uh, 
but well next we have cloud tail gotta love a cloud tail he's okay i mean like i like him uh personally i think he's nice i like his sassy brat attitude as an apprentice but then i like how when he became a warrior and met like brightheart he was like he like com he not completely but he changed a lot uh, he was compassionate and stuff like that, which he wasn't really before. Um, and yeah, so he's the in the like. We gotta get our boy Longtail. I love him. <laughs> uh, like I like. This is gonna be the love because there isn't really a character that I like. Um. So yeah, I do think he's really good character like uh he's like i love how he goes from hating him because he's a kitty pet to when he was finally released from tiger claw actually like kind of liking him kind of like and he wasn't that mad when he became leader at least not that i remember and i like him <laughs> White Storm, he's, uh, his character is just, he's, like, really nice and stuff, uh, and, like, that he was the deputy, and, yeah, I mean, his death was sad, but, I mean, like, eh, he's just kind of like a background character, in my opinion. Um, <gasps> my baby! Sorry, I'm obsessed with Tallstar as a leader. <laughs> um, he's awesome, in my opinion. I love how he, he, like, aims for peace, but he's willing to fight when he has to. And, I mean, I like that he sided with, uh, ThunderClan, but I, and, but I don't like that he, like, that he was mad at ThunderClan when he was told that uh, they kept Woken Star without them being able to explain that it was as a prisoner. Um, at least that I remember. But I do really like him. Next is Misty Star, I'm guessing? I, I'm gonna put her up in S. I just like the fact that, like, she was, like, more comfortable with Firestar than any of the others, even, like, Silverstream, in my opinion. She's, like, and she's, like, kind of friends with him. I mean, like, it's more than acquaintances. It's, like, not besties, but, like, friends. And, I mean, I do like her character. I like how she's, like, nice to the ThunderClan cats when she can be when she wants, but when... But she's also, like, mean to them when she has to, which that's, I mean, that's how it should be, in my opinion. Um, and yeah. So now we got Stone Fur. Uh, I'll put a, ah, motorcycle. <laughs> I'll put him in there. I do, like, I like the fact that I like him at uh, I like the fact that he protected the, uh, kids and stuff. Wait, I gotta think about this. I just realized there's not all of them, of course, but there's no storm paw. Eh, it's fine. Um, but, or feather paw. Which, I mean, they're more of the next series, but, I mean, they're still, yeah. Well, uh, and I like that he put his life at risk for them and stuff. And I think he's an, well, I'll put him down in the okay. Uh, Brightheart. I'm sorry, you're just not as good. I feel like the only reason that, and for all of you Brightheart fans, like, 
I feel like the only reason most people like Brightheart uh, is because of the fact that she's disabled. And I feel like that's for a lot of characters. I feel like people wouldn't like Jay Feather as much if he, he weren't disabled, or uh, Brightheart, or even uh, Briarlight. I feel they wouldn't like as much uh, if they weren't disabled. I just... <sighs> she's okay. I mean, she's kind of sweet. But, yeah. And I feel like it's cool that she made her up her own moves. But other than that, she's just... Okay. Um, Silverstream. Uh, she's okay. Uh, I'm gonna put her up next to... Graystripe. Um, she's okay. I feel like she's not the best. It's just, she's okay. Brack and Fur, nah, nah, not up there. I love you, dude. Man, like, you're so cool. I know he's kind of like a background character, but in, like, the first series, he wasn't that much of a background character. He, I mean, he wasn't a main character. It's just he wasn't really a background character. Um, I find, like, I like the fact, I wish he would have been able to take care of, or not take care of, but... Apprentice, uh, uh, Snowpaw, which would, which, I'm talking about Snow Kit, uh, would have been Snowpaw, but yeah, I wish he would, he's, he's okay, and I just don't really like you, man. You're gonna go down here. I don't have many opinions for him, he's just there, and like, I don't really like him. <laughs> So, down next to Sandstorm. So, yeah. That's it. But, yeah. Bye, guys!